Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Let's also work on the uh, torso here on the spine. Let's select spine two and go into vertex mode. And for this, I think I'm going to use this circle select by hitting the C key. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna select this head and hide it. There we go. Because I think I want to grab these bo these vertices right down the center. I don't think I've grabbed those. So I'm going to do that. And I'll go ahead and grab these and this. And I'll even grab that whole button there. All right, let's assign that to the spine two at 100%. Got that. And then let's come down and grab this bone. And before I do anything here, I think I'm gonna hide this belt pack because it's, I think, going to go onto the root bone. So I'm just pressing the L key until I've got everything selected, and then hit H to hide. And now, for spine one, I'm just going to drag select everything here. And I'll go ahead and assign that 100%, and we'll see how that works. There's that. And then I'm gonna select the root bone and back in vertex mode, I'm going to use the circle select tool. And I think before I do that, I'm going to hide that vest. And I want to select everything in here. So press the C key. And I believe I'll go ahead and select these. And that will all be assigned to the root bone there. Assign. So I'm gonna press Alt H to bring everything back. And let's just test. It's gonna be a little ugly because we haven't done the hands yet, but just wanna test here. Yeah. Just hitting the R key. Getting there. All right, so now those, that belt pack, I believe I wanna be assigned completely to the root bone. I think I want everything to follow the root bone there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the pants, the shirt, the vest, and hide those, hit the H key. And then I'm gonna border select and select that belt. And let's assign all of that to the root bone. Let's see how that works. Alt H, back to white paint mode. And so we've got that, got that. Good, I think that's gonna work. I may have to do a little adjusting there, but I think that's gonna work. All right, well we've, done the neck, shoulder, upper arm, lower arm, and the torso. Let's take a look at uh, weighting the fingers here. I'm gonna go to the top view and I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, edit view, edit mode here. And for these, I think I'm going to select um, each ring and give it a specific uh, waiting assignment. So this is um, going to be, I'm gonna go back to weight paint mode and select that finger and then hit tab to go back to vertex mode. And I did that just to select this particular vertex group so I didn't have to scroll through it. Uh, but this particular edge should probably be um, 100% or 1.0. So I'm gonna hit assign there. And uh, let's take a look at this one here. Um, let's go ahead and give that one 100%. 
Now this ring, if I hit Alt, right mouse button to select, it'll select that whole thing along the hand and I don't want that. So I'm gonna use the C key to click and drag these points here. And I'll go ahead and give that those. And this though, I'll put at 0.5. So I'll assign that. And let's look at this one over here. This one is going to be 0.5 as well. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and move down to index two and assign that 0.5. So now I should have this, um, this bone at 0.5 and this at 0.5. So let's go back to vertex mode here and let's select this point or this edge, I should say. And that's gonna be 100% and assign this one here, it's gonna be 100. This one here is gonna be 0.5 and it's also gonna be 0.5 for index three. Okay, so I should have that. So this is kind of the general uh, way you should probably set up the weights at the beginning. Um, that can certainly change as we begin testing the uh, bending of the character of the fingers of the arms, etc. Uh, but this is just a good way to get that um, beginning weights down. All right, so let's go back to um, index one, and let's. This is going to be. I'll just select it here. So this is actually index three, excuse me. So let's go to index three, give this 50% there. And then we could use B for border select and just select all of this and give it 100% for index three. And there we go. So now if we take a look at the weights here, we've got index three, index two, and index one. And that's generally how you want it to look. Now I've got the uh, hand bone here. I need to work on that one as well. And then I'll switch back to vertex mode, hit the C key, and let's just select all the points in here that I'm gonna need for the hand. So I'm gonna select everything like, I don't know, up to maybe here. And let's give this 100% or 1.0. There we go. And then we can tumble around and make sure we got all, all of that. Now I'm gonna use this edge here for 50% or 0.5 for the hand and assign that. Now let's take a look at how it merges together. Now I've or actually I've missed some here, haven't I? So let's take a look at what I've done here, or haven't done. Uh, it looks as if there may be one more ring here that I could work with. Ah, yeah, like that. So let me get this at 0.5 here, and then I'll try and get this at 100. See how this works. Still missing a couple here. And that's fine, we can always just go in with our um, paintbrush here and try and paint these. No problem there. And maybe I'll do that over here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So now we have a nice transition between the hand bone here and the finger bones here. We'll have to see. I almost feel like this may be a little too far down that it needed to be here, but we can always adjust that um, as we begin testing. Well, here, let's take a look here. We can actually just rotate this down and see how this works. So yeah, it looks like it would have been better to have this edge be the 50%. And that's not hard, we can do that. Let's go ahead and fix that and then we'll know what needs to happen um, for the, the rest of the fingers. So I think for this, I'm just going to 
Um, select these and paint these now just to fix this. And then I can come over here and go 0.5 for the strength and paint this here. So now I'm just painting these particular vertices at 50%. And let's see how this works. All right, let's give that a try and rotate. And that rotates a little bit better. So in the next video, we'll continue on down the chain and try and get the rest of the character weight painted. So I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.